when the technicians brought our family, including my scans in that pile, I looked through because I'm, you know, I'm interested in if any of the people in our family looks like they're getting Alzheimer's. And I went through each one as I went through the pile. I, as I went through, I got through seven of them and they all looked normal. Now I had to go back and really analyze them in detail, but I've seen so many of these scans, thousands of scans of different people with different disorders that I, I can tell quickly if there's something obvious, but it looked obvious like that everybody was okay. So I was, you know, I was going, ah, great, 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 great. And then I got to the last scan uh, and I looked at it and I started laughing. I said, okay, guys, you, you slipped in one of the serial killers and, you know, into my family scan, ha ha ha. Very funny, you know, and yeah, uh, because we do screw around. You, you're not supposed to screw around for more than a minute, though. You know what I mean? It's like the joke you're supposed to, you know, uh, you're yeah. supposed to quickly have a reveal. When you have a, when you're talking about human help, if any jokes, the reveal should come in a few seconds. So anyway, and they go, no, no, this is your family scan. I said, please, you got to go back and check the scanner, the computer to make sure it's one of ours. Because I said, this person right here, whoever this is shouldn't be walking around in open society. This is probably a very dangerous person. And they said, no. So they checked it and came back some time later. And they said, no, that is one of your family. At that point, I had to peel back the tape uh, to look at the name because, you know, it was like my civic duty to get this sure. person off the street. And, and there it was. That was, you know, that's when Gandalf showed up at my door and it was my name on there. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's the most extraordinary story I honestly, I think I've ever heard. Um, it's so it's 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 weird and it's purely by serendipity uh and in a couple of things happened about the same in the same month that were like this it was just very mm. strange yeah. didn't your your mother warned you about your she said you were investigating psychopathy and you know given your family history you should look into yourself for my mother while we're uh, cooking she's going jim i got a, i got a book from your cousin you gotta you gotta see this it's about your family i said it's about our family no it's about your family, your father's family. She goes, look at this page. And it and it was like, it's called Killed Strangely. It's the story of the first murder of a, of a mother by a son. That is matricide in the American colonies. This is back in 1660s. Okay. And uh, so as I look through, that person is my direct grandfather. And that's the first killing, the first murder. And it was during kind of the Salem witch trial. So it's an interesting book for the history going on that. Mm. But but she goes, read further. So all the way along, there are different murders or very bad actors in our family, you know, that are directly linked. These are direct grandparents. And then it kind of went and sort of fizzled out in the late 19th century with Lizzie Borden, who was Lizzie Borden's famous in the United States, uh, for killing her her parents and it was the, we always knew we knew every every kid knew the poem growing up you know in the 50s and 60s and 70s and before that mm -hmm. 40s and 30s there, there was a on, on your ted talk there was a sharp uh, intake a, an audible intake of breath when you said that uh, among the audience because as you say it's, she's obviously very well known in very the anybody yeah all the people our age and older and some even younger would have had this little tune that you know lizzie borden had an axe and she gave her mother 40 wax. And when she was done, she gave her father 41. So, you know, like 80, you know, brutal murder. Uh, but also, so at any rate, uh, and since that time, my two cousins who discovered this, you know, that this whole lineage, because they, they're the ones that called up and said, you got to check this book out. But they found a total of three lines on my father's side filled with these murders. And and you know, one of one line with the worst ones goes back through uh, John Lachlan, you know, King John Lachlan, uh, that whole lineage. And so it's got all the, the worst, the worst of the murdering uh, English kings. Jesus. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, these stories are like having, you know, horse thief in your family. But we have three of those four lines who had all these murders, and, and you know, people who mm -hmm. left their family and did other bad things, and so. That went from genealogy and genographics to there's a lot, you know, probably a lot of, uh, you know, alleles in there that yeah. wouldn't get so diluted because they keep, you know, keep adding on. So at any rate, that happened about the same time. So it was right after that. I was like, what? So we also have that, too. And I said, <laughs> and when I had come home, you know, that 
the week before and told my wife, I said, the screwiest thing happened. And I said, we had all our scans done. And by the way, dear, you look, your brain looks normal that you don't have early Alzheimer's. That was the real news. And I said, and just this crazy thing. I said, my, my PET scan looked just like all these, like the worst kind of psychopath that I'd been studying for years. And she said something curious. She, she said, that doesn't surprise me. 